numbers, but we've got work to do because you need a spark for your fantasy team. I wish I could inject players into Chicago's lineup, but I can't do it. But I can do it on your Yahoo, on your NFL, on your ESPN league. So I got you covered with some guys. This is Sleepers for Week 6 edition, and let's do it. Remember, this is our first round of buys, people. It's wolf task a dick. It's not fun. It's Raiders, it's Texans, it's Lions, Titans, all off this week. So we got to dig a little bit deeper into this week's sleepers. How about Eno Benjamin? I always go to Fantasy Pros. That's just me. And he's ranked 27th there. James Conner dealing with a rib injury. Williams and Ward, they've already been ruled out. So hello, Eno. Get him in your lineup because he'll have a heavy workload against a struggling Seahawks defense that's allowed the second most yards to running backs this season. Even though he's been primarily the third running back in Arizona, he's ever nearly 50 total yards per game. So listen, bump up and roll. Expect him to put up solid numbers. All right, moving on to Rondale Moore. After missing the first three games of the season, he got eight targets on Sunday in his second game back in the lineup. If you know me or followed my career, you know I love him and I want Cliff to use him so he can do his thing. He caught seven balls, though, for 68 yards against the tough Eagles secondary and even got two carries on the day. So Use him like that, Cliff, I'm begging you, and I think we might see him every day because it's Seattle and they have the 26th ranked pass defense. George Pickens, he has emerged as Kenny Pickett's go-to dude as far as targets are concerned, right? Eight targets in back-to-back games. He's averaging a team-leading 92.5 yards per game over that span. Uh, so given how the season's going and gone for the Steelers, I have a feeling they fall behind against the Buccaneers. What does that mean? Game script, baby. The rules are the rules. He's got to throw early and often. Pickens will have plenty of opportunities. Irv Smith, oh, Irv Smith Jr., I missed him last year, and now he's 12th on Fantasy Pros. He's young, he's talented, I know he has a lot to prove, and he's thinking, hey, this is going to be a breakout game for me this season. Uh, as he gets steady volume, he's averaging six targets a game over the last four, and it could be in the works. He's got the Dolphins defense. Dolphins defense, we love them, but they are top 10 most generous to the tight end spot. It makes sense. Get him in your DFS lineup over at FanDuel. And last but not least, Trevor Lawrence. He's had a few tough ones, but I'm feeling a bounce back against my Colts here. He finished as the QB1 in each of his last two matchups with Indy. So if you had, you know, your hopes tied up, if you were a Russell Wilson person, or if you've been streaming as you lost Dak Prescott and somehow weren't able to add Cooper Rush because you missed my show that day when I told you to do that, I would give Trevor a shot this week. All right, quick recap here. Eno Benjamin, Rondale Moore, George Pickens, Irv Smith Jr., and Trevor Lawrence, some sleepers. FanDuel has the best daily fantasy options, and they got over-unders. So grab these guys and put them in your lineup.